Hey guys, welcome back to another dual commentary. So this one's a little bit late, I apologize, but it's uh, Bujins versus Sylvan, so we got XXLI, X Lil X. That's a good play, getting rid of the field spell, because that's the stuff that keeps them yeah, doing yeah, shenanigans. Yeah, at 50, uh, I mean, 1599 here, and Chris too fast for you <laughs> at 1758 here. So it's uh, Sylvan versus Bujins, so... Uh, when we popped in, the only thing I saw is that Quillen got summoned, and then he got hit with a bottom rush, so I saw that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, he's going to go ahead and do his Sylvan Charity, and cheery it up. So, it looks like the Bujin guy didn't even open up that well. No Yamato or anything. Yeah. The I think the Bujin guy's going to be in trouble. Yeah. Wow, like... look at all the watches. I mean, yeah, look at their rating. Yeah. Damn. Damn, Bujin player, come on, man, play something for the Sylvan guy freaking just smacks the shit, shit out of you. Oh, shit, Peacekeeper. Oh, yeah. We saw that play coming. <laughs> I don't like Sylvans, they confuse me. <laughs> I confuse their setup with luck. <laughs> yeah. I, if I had to play a deck that was like a sort of mill or see. slash excavate based, I would play Sylvans personally because it's more controlled on what you do. It's not like Lights ones where it's just hope and fucking pray. You've got enough boss monsters and stuff to mill and you mill the right stuff. You know, it's like more controlled at least. Yeah. So we have to be tanky and let's it go through. All right. No MSTs, huh? Yes, not. If he has MST, he's an idiot. You really should have yeah, fucking. Yeah, you should have hit it. Especially against Bujins of all decks. Yeah. It was clear he didn't have anything, and then he just top decked that tanky, so you probably should have definitely hit that. I'd hit that. <laughs> you would. You'd hit anything. <laughs> you would. You filthy bastard. <laughs> and you might have goes for the attack. Is that a safe play? No, Capulse. He negged one to protect his peacekeeper. Alright. Oh, shit, the lance! Oh, oh, I would have just took the Capulse, but whatever. Yeah, because... Dude, Why? It's what, not worth it. Point. Like, what if he plays something worse like, later on? Okay, sure, whatever. How strong is Peacekeeper? Peacekeeper is... 400. 400? 400 attack, yeah. Yeah, alright. So, he did math right. Yeah, just making sure. Not that I can really you, say you're, anything. You're, you're in a math teacher was coming out then. <laughs> I was just making sure that he, you know, discredited the tanky boost and everything like that. Took that into consideration. Okay. okay. Sure. You run your limited to one card. Yep. I really don't I like I think that. that card could go to three if the Dragon Rollers got banned, personally. Yeah. Because the only reason that it is limited is because the dragon rulers they make it a plus one yep otherwise you even out for it so it's like eh. there's a lot of things that would change it's the, the same when rulers. people say sylvan charities bro it's like e i get what they mean because you get to draw three whole cards but you put the cards back and you also lose one for charity so you plus one actually don't you off for charity well you activate it you activate it you which draw is a three, minus you put back one two, you draw so three, three, three so it's even. even yeah it's even it's fine. That just means it's a really powerful card. A card that can break you even is really, is really good. Yeah, yeah. Because usually cards are neg one for being played. I mean, Tenki is powerful for reason. Oh, and, and there's Soul Charge! What the fuck does he even have to Soul Charge back? I, I mean, know. I guess... I guess you could uh, special the Peacekeeper, and then Peacekeeper's effect would special summon a plant in his grave. Are oh, you not going to do that? You could have just... Instead of paying 2,000, you could have just paid 1,000, got the Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper would have got the score. Oh, you want to get something else for Peacekeeper? Oh, no, it excavates when it's special or something. I'm thinking the other one. What are you thinking of? Um, there is another one that's when it's special summoned. I think it special summons a plant from oh, the grave. Yeah, come Sage Koya. Oh, Sa God. Is that how you say it? Sage, Sage, S Sage Koya. Sage Koya. Not, Sa not Sage Koya, Sage Koya. Sage Koya would have been better. Yeah. It rolls off the tongue better than Sage Koya. Sage Koya. It's like Sakajuwea. You, know you know what that Sage Koya reminds me of? What? It reminds me of the Great Deku Tree from Ocarina of Time. <laughs> it does! Look at it! Look at it! That You cannot think that like, Konami weren't thinking of the fucking Deku Tree from Ocarina of Time when they saw that. Oh shit. Think 8? 
It's a scrap dragon. Mm. Well, keep in I mind, he does yeah. have the turtle, so be careful with that. Uh, right? I probably would have. What taken. are you? And what are you? What are you talking of yours? Yeah, what, what's going away from yours? I, I mean, does that, uh, is that how it works? Is it just like he just targets and then he blocks with, and he doesn't have to do anything with it? I guess not, because I guess if you can't select your targets, you can't destroy. Oh, that's not a bad no. play. No, I don't think it does. I think he still has to pop the card because you target. Because you target, and then he blocks the target, so he misses one of his targets, so therefore yeah. he can't destroy. Hmm. Yes. I think, I mean, I guess I think that's what happened. If that's really how it works, then that's interesting. If that is how it works, then that's pretty good. Okay. Great through skill, the new better card over uh, thingy. Fiendish chain. Yep. Yeah, fiendish. Sad. I always like fiendish chain just because it blocks attacks. Oh fucking hell! Has he got all three silver charities? Yes, he has. Oh my god. He's got all three silver charities, and he's not going against like a turbo boogie deck. So he did all right. Curry Bandit, okay. Alright. So now he can't protect his, uh, his Yamato. I think Curry Bandit's there. best in Chaos Dragons. It goes Chaos Dragons, Sylvans, and then Light Swans, in my opinion, in that order. Alright. For what decks uh, Bandit's best in? What do you think? Trap Stun. Mm. Oh. That's a pretty good play. Yeah. Now what? Oh, another fucking soul. I thought I thought you were gonna go ahead and trap stun and get some damage in, but I guess he wants to soul charge it up. I guess. So he wants to soul charge just to make his play safe. I mean, I guess. But... Can we ban soul charge yet? Yeah. It's broke. It is. Or if not, it needs to get a hit to one. I mean, it really needs to get banned, but it cannot stay free. It even, needs... even at one, it's still it... broke. Cause then it's a freaking top deck card. <laughs> It's just unhealthy for the game. Yeah, it is. It's like I've I've now I've now played around with that card. I've had my fun with it, but I don't like it. I don't care for it anymore. I've got bored. I've not only got bored of it. I know how broke it is now because I've played it myself firsthand, and I've I've had duels where Soul Charge has just won at me. Just it's just won at me. I've been behind, and I've been like, you know what, Soul Charge, get all my stuff back, win. You know. Is he gonna go for his boss monster? <laughs> That uh, that plant bitch. How much? How expensive is she? Well, I guess we'll ah, find no. out when he summons him, if he summons him. Nope, nope Draco. Yeah. Draco is ninety ninety seven fucking dollars for Holy a high shit. value. Oh fucking lie. God. I mean, I guess it's better than big eye. So. In more situations, I mean, big eye's still good. If you're running sevens, you should run at least one big eye. But still. Really, roll a die to pop a card. Oh yeah, totally. Totally how that works. No, he hasn't normal summoned yet. So no. he's still just doing his plays. And uh, this whole field right now is only possible with the power of Soul Charge. Mm-hmm. Whoa, 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 didn't he mill six? No, I thought I counted five. Oh, alright. Yeah, because remember they have that option now where you can excavate how many you want real quick. Oh, fair enough. And Prince Restaurant comes back, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, problem, the problem is, he can't it's do anything. Is Bandit a spell or trap, or just spell? Spell. I think. I don't know. <laughs> God, go, we're so go, bad go, at go, this. Go, go search it up. Go search it up, since I'm recording this. Alright, hang on, hang on. Uh, because I was about to say, did he just add that trap trick at Paul Nightmare? Can you do that? Uh, hang on, let me see. Curry Bandit. Uh, spell or trap, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't. Book a moon. At least chain to something. Shit, I would have sat that set, sat that fucking Draco sack down. And you could have dark hold and wiped everything next turn, but whatever. You want to put chain your book of moon? Why not? Yeah. Princess Sprout's really fucking good. Yeah. You pretty much don't the only it. the only reason I don't like her as much as Copy Plant is because generally in my in my personal build, I run a Sage Koya focused build, 
So, um, see, see this is where he messed up. It's one card eight. This is where he messed up. He could have wow. Book of Moon the Draco sack, and then he could have uh, made an Exiton right now and wiped the yeah. whole field. But whatever. Guess he didn't want to do it. I thought it would have been a pretty good play. Like if you're gonna, if you're gonna run Book of Moon, use it wisely. Damn. Never mind. He's just gonna bitch slap the shit out of everything. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Whew. So you take your monsters attacks. Was that twenty-eight? Oh, it's over. Yeah. Damn. He, of course, he had the honest. 